From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith, Friday's Top Stories. To all of those who may know of the persons responsible for these six deaths, we ask you to come forward. Because someone knows who's responsible for it. Police going into the weekend trying to get to the bottom of that shooting incident here in the Capitol yesterday, which left six men dead and a woman and child in hospital, described as shocking by some. That was National Security Minister Dames at a news conference on the wake of the incident last night. He had some strong words describing the shooters as monsters. We will not sit back and allow our nation to be overrun by a group of misfits. We're still a nation of laws, and we will see to it that those who are responsible are brought to justice in the quickest possible time. For now, police believe this could be gang-related. The victims were all just released by police from different holding areas after being taken into custody on various weapons allegations. Police are looking for at least four men in connection with the shooting. As for the two persons in hospital, they were listed in serious but stable condition at last report. Murder total for the year jumps to 39 now. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. That incident temporarily overshadowing the coronavirus situation in the country, increasing numbers of cases and hospitalizations over the past two weeks, prompting former health minister Dr. Dwayne Sands to warn that we have a big problem. And he says officials will have to determine what sort of intervention is needed to further curb the spread. Both Prime Minister Minnis and Health Minister Wells have issued statements already saying there are no plans at this point to change the current restrictions in place. Meantime, the vaccination effort continues, now shifting to the islands. Vaccinations are taking a break in the capital this weekend, but they will resume on Monday. More legal issues for former Deputy Prime Minister Turnquist. New mortgage fraud allegations have been filed against him and former Sky Bahamas CEO Randy Butler in court by a Canadian businessman. The Free National Movement ratifies three more candidates for the next elections. Hank Johnson goes back to South Eleuthera. Nicole Martin gets Nassau Village. Dramico Archer will run for the FNM in Fort Charlotte. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny again today. Highs from the low to mid-80s. 81 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 1 this afternoon. Clear skies tonight, lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper. Biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines. There's another gun violence incident in the U.S., this time in the city of Indianapolis in Indiana. Eight persons killed and several others in hospital after a gunman opened fire at a FedEx facility there before he killed himself. Europe has major coronavirus problems. France and Germany considering what steps to take to try and slow the spread. France has now passed 100,000 deaths and there's no end in sight. That despite increasing vaccinations, no decisions by the American CDC yet on the Johnson vaccine. Concerns remain about blood clots and possible connections to the vaccine. In South America, Brazil is said to be on the verge of collapse. Cases are going up again in the U.S. Tribune's gas track of prices heading into the weekend. Shell 486, SO 488, Rubens $4.93 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. A buddy DeAndre showdown in the NBA last night. The Kings played the Suns, and DeAndre won this one. 
Aiden had 27 points, 14 rebounds. Heal had 24 points, but Phoenix won the game. Read the details in the Tribune Sports. Jazz Chisholm continues to impress for the Marlins in Major League Baseball. Get the latest on him and the latest on baseball. Another Bahamian gets a coaching job in the U.S. Find out who that is. An honor for track coach Ronald Cartwright. And get the latest NFL offseason moves. All in the Tribune Sports Friday. All of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all weekend at Tribune242.com.